Field. Um, some things were brought up in the last meeting concerning Pizza Palace, Francis Avenue, Highland Park. Um, I just wanted to go over some of the things that were said and give my rebuttal to it. Um, as far as Francis Avenue, the situation with the trash being dumped on people's lawns, I had no, oh, uh, nobody had come to me with this particular problem. I have since uh, happened to go out one day and I happened to see Melanie and her husband out on the front lawn. I had a conversation with them. We have worked on that. We have somebody going up and down the street four days a week to straighten out whatever debris may be left behind from some of our patrons. While that's not technically our responsibility, we want to work with the residents of the two streets that neighbor us um, and make sure that we do the right thing for the neighborhood. Um, that being said, you know, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, I have people going out cleaning up the trash and the debris on, on those streets for the, for the neighbors. Um, also, Melanie said that we don't care. Um, if you don't like it, move. Those words never crossed my lips. I would never say that to anybody. These are my neighbors, and I have a deep respect for the neighborhood that sits behind us. And I'm well aware that uh, the two neighbors directly behind us have my cell phone number, and they call me, text me if they have an issue. Um, if they have an issue uh, getting out of Highland Park, they asked me if I would not park so close to the edge of the road so that they could see down the road. So I accommodate, I parked my car there intentionally so that I can make sure that they have enough room or, or a line of vision so that they can get out and get out safely. Um, if the if the hedges in the back get too high, the neighbor says, hey, can you cut those down? The next couple of days, it's cut down. And whatever they want, I realize that we have residential neighbors behind us, and I'm well aware of that, and I do my best to play nice with our neighbors as much as I can. I, I run a business. I know that we are an inconvenience to the neighborhood, uh, but we've been there since 1964. My wife and my family, we've owned it for the past seven years. Um, and we want to continue to own it for many more years. Um, Sue uh, Bud had been in the restaurant having dinner one time, and I approached her about the parking on the one side of the street, and she was in full agreement with me. Uh, as far as that goes, I am in full agreement with parking on one side of the street. Resident parking only would cut our business off at the knees. So I, I don't know if that's something that you guys handle or work with, but that would just be catastrophic to our business if we didn't have parking on the street, because it's just the overflow going down the streets. And my wife grew up on Highland Park. She and I own a house on that street now, um, and it's been that way since she was born, and her mother and her grandmother before lived in the same house. And it's a, since the Pizza Palace has been there, they've always had parking down the street. I'm not looking to get in uh, an argument with any customers about the parking on the street, it's there, it's, it's a public street. Um, we want to continue to be able to use it um, because it would be very detrimental to the business if we didn't have that overflow parking. We're just, you know, we're trying to, just trying to run a small business and survive. We've invested a lot of money into this, the building. As you can probably, if you've driven by, you can tell that we've put some money in to the outside and we put a lot more money on the inside and we've just got to make a living. Um, the hours of operation, as far as entertainment, we've always had karaoke, uh, bands have always been there. We just have a little bit bigger venue now, uh, it, we have a, a, a better place for it to happen. So we do have more people coming. Um, we do have doorman Thursday through Saturday and they have clickers for people coming in and exiting the building. We also have a scanner for uh, people coming in with, uh, that are underage. We check their ID, we scan their ID, um, trying to protect all of everybody. Myself, the, you know, the town from having <coughs> underage drinking going on. We do, our, we do our damnedest to make sure that that doesn't happen. I got a lot to lose serving an underage person and I don't want it. It's not the kind of business I want to run. 
Um, to, and for the neighbors to say that I didn't care or I don't care about the neighborhood is it's unfair because I do care. We own a home on Highland Park. We own the business at the end of the street. I care. <laughs> I have neighbors. You know, if, if the back door gets opened, I'm always the one to slam it shut because I know the sound travels, especially at night after 10 o'clock. You can somebody opens one of the back doors, you can hear it outside. So I'm constantly watching the cameras or walking around the building, making sure there's nothing funky going on that's not supposed to be going on. Um, Excuse me, time's up for this round. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ken, you can you can come back the, the next round. Okay. Thank you.